And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. All right, temperatures got up into the lower 70s today, but down to the south, it got up to 80 degrees in Chicago, 87 in St. Louis, and 82 in Goodland, Kansas. We are going to be seeing above average conditions as we head into the next week. However, is that going to be as extreme as what we've been dealing with right now? Highs in the 70s, we should be seeing temperatures about 10 or more degrees cooler than what the value is. Today started off a little bit foggy, hazy out there, but by the afternoon we did see some sun starting to break out through the clouds and we remain under partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, even some areas saw some more sunshine. Further southward in the southern Fox Valley, that's where you folks did see more sunshine earlier in the day. North, I would say about Highway 10 or so, we were dealing with more of the clouds than the sun. So we got an area of low pressure right now off towards the west with a warm front that's extending down to the south. That's going to be lifting northward and continuing our stretch of 70 degree temperatures. Right now, the swirling rotation and with showers and thunderstorms activity off towards the west of us, but this is all going to be slowly shifting off to the north and east. There is a marginal risk of severe weather that does extend into north central Wisconsin. As we get into tomorrow, the risk of some isolated strong storms remains to the far northwoods into the UP and in northeastern Minnesota. And then on Monday, we do have a marginal risk for severe weather from Princeton up towards Menominee and points eastward as another area of low pressure moves in. So a couple little active systems moving across the Midwest over the next 72 hours. Overnight tonight, we'll have some isolated showers and storms lifting through. As you can see, it doesn't look to be a complete washout, but a couple light sprinkles and perhaps maybe even a rumble of thunder. As we get into Sunday morning, starting off with a sun and cloud mix, but by the afternoon, additional isolated showers and thunderstorms will be pushing through. Once again, not a widespread event, not a complete downpour, but as we get into Sunday night, a few of these additional isolated showers and storms will continue to push in. Now on Monday, here comes the third round, and we'll have more of these clusters of showers and storms and I think Monday will be the heaviest of the three days in terms of the precipitation amounts and then this system will be slowly drifting out of the area as we head into Tuesday. So with the jet stream pattern that we're seeing right now, it's pretty much railroad tracks for a lot of these rounds of showers and potentially some thunderstorms to move in. And when you have that over an extended period of time, you can be picking up anywhere from a half inch to over an inch of rainfall. Of course, Wherever you do see the heavier showers and storms will dictate who sees the highest amount of precipitation. It's 68 right now outside with an east wind at 7 miles per hour. Our sunset tonight is at 618. We've got temperatures ranging from the mid 60s in Pembine to 73 in Fond du Lac and 65 currently in Manitowoc, 70 at the moment in Appleton. Winds coming in out of the southeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and the wind gusts will actually start to pick up as we head into the overnight and into tomorrow. Some gusts upwards about 25 miles per hour coming in out of the south and southeast. So for tonight, watch out for a few showers and thunderstorms cooling off to 62. Southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll get up into the mid 70s for tomorrow. Additional showers and thunderstorms are expected. Should be isolated to scattered in nature. Wind southeast breezy 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the 70s will be sticking around here over the next couple of days, but the party will be coming to an end going down into the lower 60s by Friday and potentially maybe into the upper 50s for some locations on Saturday. So the enjoyment of the summer like weather into mid almost October. I mean, eventually all good things come to an end. No, of course they do. Gino, thank you. Enjoy